Hey guys and girls, K7 here, and welcome to yet another tutorial. Today I will be doing an update on how to import your very own customized personal avatars into VRChat. If you are a regular viewer to the channel, you will know that I've already done a video on this, but a lot of changes have been made since then. So I'm updating the video for you guys and girls with updated information to get you up and running and getting your avatar into VR chat without any issues, without any problems. This will be a step-by-step in-depth tutorial using Unity. Posting and uploading your favorite avatars into VR chat will now be a breeze. So sit back and relax. Keep watching. Welcome back. So in order to get started, you will be needing three things. VRChat, the VRChat SDK, and Unity Engine, which of all you can find down in the links in the description. So first, you will want to head on over to VRChat.com. Here, you will be able to create a VRChat account. If you do not have one, make sure that you create one because you cannot download the VRC SDK without it. Also, you will not be able to upload and post any avatars to VRChat if you are not a registered VRChat member, not through Steam. Keep this in mind. Once you have signed up or signed in to VRChat.com, you will then be introduced to this newly added page. On the left side, you will see a download selection. Click download and then click on download the VRC SDK. You won't be clicking on the Unity download because you'll be getting a different version that works well with VRChat. So click to download your VRC SDK and you're done here. You can now close out this window. Next, we're going to download Unity. Click the link that I've left for you down in the description and it'll take you on over to Unity. 5.6.3p1 patch download for VR chat. Head on over to there and download whatever version that you may be using, either Windows or Mac. Whichever one you're using, then there's a download for it. Once you've downloaded, you're all done here. Next, we're gonna go on ahead and install our Unity engine. It takes a very long time for it to install. Make sure that you have Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 first because without this, you will not be able to install Unity Engine. So also keep this in mind. Start up your Unity Engine EXE and get it starting for installing. Remember, this will take a while. So while you wait, let's head on over to the VRChat Mods website to get ourselves an avatar. Once you arrive at the VRChat Mods website, you will see that they've newly updated this website as well. And the selections have grown since the last time I've seen it anyways. Scroll down and look through the various selections of avatars of many you can choose from. Big, small, ugly, or tall. Whatever your choice may be, it's all here for you. Once you searched and found an avatar that you like, you want to click on the picture and then hit download. Once you hit download, your download will begin and you're all done here. Once you're finished on the VRChat Mods website, your Unity Engine install may have finished. But if it hasn't, then you'll have to wait a little longer until it does. But if it has, you can then go on over to your VRC SDK and double click the EXE. This will open Unity Engine and prompt you to create a new project. Select your project name and start your project. Once Unity opens, you will get a prompt on the left side corner asking you to install the VRC SDK. Click install. This will take some time depending on your computer but it should finish in a reasonable amount of time. It should not take too long. Be patient, wait a little while, 
and it'll finish. Once the two folders have loaded down at the bottom and everything is accessible to click on, your VRC SDK has now finished loading. Once the VRC SDK is finished loading, you will see a new option at the top right hand corner of your screen that says VRC SDK. You want to click on that. Once you click on it, a drop down window will appear. Click on settings. Here, you will need to sign in. Once you sign in, you will be able to gain access to new tools and also you will be able to upload your avatars into VR chat. Once you sign in for the first time, you will no longer need to sign in ever again because every time you now load up Unity, you will automatically be signed in. Once it's finished, you can now begin starting on working on your avatar to get it uploaded onto VR chat. So, if you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you will see a few folders. But the one that we're interested in is the VRC SDK. So you want to click on the VRC SDK folder, hit on examples, click scenes, and then drag the example A preset into the left hand corner box on the side of the screen. This will bring up a VRC scale model in order to scale your model in whichever way you'd like to scale it into the game. In order to keep track of your scale model so that you don't lose it just in case you make changes to the original scene layout, you might want to click on the assets button right here on the top left hand corner of your folder window. Click on the VRC SDK model, click inside the left hand corner window with your scene items Click on the avatar and drag it down into the VRC SDK folder. This will give you a copy of your scale model just in case you lose them. Now we want to import our very first model into Unity Engine. So you're going to go to the model that you downloaded earlier from VRC Mods. And then you're going to double click on it. The same window should pop up in the left hand corner of the screen asking you to import the avatar. Click on import and then you can open the folder containing your avatar. It may look like this but it also may be a different name and also multiple folders. Some avatars come with add-ons, some avatars don't. But if you have multiple folders you will have to locate whichever folder that your avatar is in. Once you locate that folder you then want to open it and drag your avatar into the avatar hierarchy on the left hand side of the screen. Your avatar should appear directly in the center in the scene. Before we move any further, let's get acquainted with some Unity Engine controls because you'll be needing these while working on your avatars. So in order to zoom in and out of your avatar, you'll be using the mouse wheel. Scroll up and down on your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. If you click and hold the mouse wheel, you can then drag the scene window up, down, left or right, vertically or horizontally. Also, if you hit the alt button, an eyeball will appear. Then you can hold the left click, then you can rotate your model 3D wise, circling around your character to get a better view. If you double click the mouse wheel, then this will reset your position just in case you get your camera out of place. So that'll be it for controls. Let's continue. Once you've placed your model into the scene, you can now delete your scale example avatar. You can scale your model by clicking the force selection above the scene hierarchy. Click on that, then click the center between the three squares. This will evenly proportion scale your model. You don't want to click either one of the squares separately or this will drag and pull your avatar unevenly out of place and it'll look very odd. You can scale it this way. Once you have your scale, then you're finished here. I don't need to scale so I'm going to keep my character exactly how it is now. So now we can begin work on our avatar. As you can see, I've dragged my avatar into the scene hierarchy onto the left. And as you can see, it has no color and no materials have been added to it. Some models 
may import into a scene without materials and some may not. But if you happen to get an avatar with no materials added to it and it comes out pink like this, what you want to do is then locate your material folder within the avatar folder. Click on your materials folder, enter the folder, and then hit control A to highlight everything in the folder. Once you've highlighted all the materials, you will see a selection that pops up on the right side hierarchy of your screen. You want to then click on the materials selection. You then want to click on shaders and select standard. This will fix materials on your model. Once you're finished there, you then want to head back over to the left side hierarchy and click on your avatar. Then head over to the right side of the screen on the top right hand side, click on select. Make sure your model is a humanoid model. If it's not a humanoid model, click the drop down menu and then click on humanoid, then hit apply. But it should already be a humanoid model. Once you're done checking, you want to head back over to the right side of the screen in the panel, reselect your avatar. You now need to add a component. You will want to add a VRC descriptor. This will be your eyes within VRChat once you enter the game. So click on add component, type VR and then select VRC descriptor. Once the VRC descriptor pops up, you want to then go back over to the left side hierarchy and select your character. Hold the alt button and scroll to the left or right side of your character and locate a tiny ball which you should see just above or near your character. As you can see, I've located the ball. It's just above my character. You will need to locate this ball each and every time you create a character because remember, this is your camera and your eyes within the game. If you have problems and have difficulties locating this little tiny ball, you can always find it by looking at your original scale model. It will always be placed in the front of your original scale model, the avatar example scale model. So if you have problems finding it, use that. It will always be placed directly in front of your VRC scale model. Once you've located the VRC descriptor, you then want to head back over to the right side panel of your screen and locate view position. You will see three boxes with three numbers in it, but the one we are going to need is the one in the center and the one on the right. You will see that it is set to whatever number it is set to. Mine's is set to 1.6. It may be set to something else, but that doesn't matter. We will need to be changing this number in order to adjust the VRC descriptive camera and get it exactly where we need it. So what we want to do is double click inside the center view position window. This will highlight the back end number. This will bring either the VRC descriptor up or down depending on the higher number or lower number, but we want to bring it down. So let's try 1.3. That's perfect. You want to get your VRC descriptor camera directly in front of the face of your avatar. Once you've done that, you're done. Now we're going to head over to the right side window and select an axis for the left and right positions of the VRC descriptor. So let's try 0.1 to get it a little bit closer to the face. But our goal is to get it inside of the head of the avatar as closely to the eyes as possible. But as long as it's within the face, that's fine. So let's try 0.1 first. And if 0.1 doesn't work, then we'll go ahead and hit zero position. This should get the VRC descriptor inside of the avatar's head. As you can see, the VRC descriptor has been set to zero and our camera has now been placed within our avatar's head. We're now finished with this. Also, while you're in the VRC descriptor, don't forget to change the default animation set just below your axis settings above. You can click to change it to either a male or female animation. So don't forget this before you leave the VRC descriptor. The only thing we need to do now is adjust the camera for a nice photo shoot 
for a picture from when we upload our avatar. So what we want to do is head on over back to the left side of the hierarchy window. We want to then select the camera to position. Once you click on the camera, click on the second selection above the scene hierarchy and this will give you a position cursor in order to move the camera left, right, forward, back or up and down. Adjust the camera how you want with a window that should appear right in the bottom right hand corner of your scene window showing you the camera's view. Once you select a perfect view for your photo shoot, you're pretty much finished. You can click on the game tab just above scene to see what the photo looks like. Once you've adjusted and made your changes to your avatar and made sure everything is complete, you can then scroll up to the top right hand corner of the screen and then click on VRC SDK. Scroll down to show bill control panel, then click on upload and publish. If you don't have any problems, down in the bottom of this window, you should be all set. If you get an error message telling you that your avatar is above 19,999 polygons, you will need to disseminate. In this tutorial, I will not be showing you how to disseminate. But in upcoming tutorials, I will show you how to disseminate an avatar and get it down to 19,999 polygons for VRChat for this is required. But if you don't get this message, you can hit upload and publish and you're all set. For those who do get this message, you'll have to wait for that tutorial or look elsewhere to find out how to disseminate in order to continue if you want to use that current avatar. Click on upload and publish. You should get an error message. Disregard this message and close the window. Name your avatar Click on the checkbox, select whether you want it private or personal, and then hit upload. This will take some time, but once it's finished, you can then head over to VRChat to greet and meet your newly uploaded avatar. Once your avatar is completed, before going over to VRChat to check, you can check it here in the VRC SDK by clicking on manage uploaded content. Here, you can select or see all of the avatars that you've uploaded as of late, and you can also delete them. Go on over into VR chat, load it up, then go into personal avatars, and your newly placed and uploaded avatar should be there for you to use from now on. Well, that pretty much wraps things up for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If this tutorial helped you guys, make sure to leave a like. Let's try to get 500 likes on this video. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave your comments down below in the comment section and I'll help you out where I can. Making this new updated tutorial was a good idea for new users and for people who are having problems uploading content into VRChat. This should fix any problems that you may have from now on. Well anyways guys, until next time, this has been K7. And oh yeah, one more thing, if you guys also have questions, you can now go over to the YouTube community tab and ask me there. You can post comments, post pictures, or perhaps anything over there. It's kind of like a Facebook or kind of like a Twitter, but on YouTube. You can contact me there if you can't reach me in the comment section. And you can begin the discussion in that window. Well anyways. See you guys next time. Have fun with your newly uploaded avatars. Take care.